Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use custom section. Uh, first thing to do is going to pages add new. Here you have to set the templates on default template and choose custom section from the section types. You can see that we have a text editor here. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, here you can use short codes to create your content. You can see that there are lots of short codes here. Uh, I'm going to layout elements and add a row. Here we can see that you can add uh, a space to top and bottom of each row. Now I'm going to add other short codes inside my row short code. You can see that we have uh, spans here or you can use ready layout short codes. I'm going to choose three one third columns. You can add a space to top and bottom of the elements. Here I open my first column and copy some text inside it and I do it for second and third column. Going to page settings, uh, you can see that the section is set on custom section, title, here you can choose to show a custom title or not showing the title, I'm going to choose show custom title and add my own title and subtitle for this section. Now the next option is uh, section display. You can choose to show the custom section in main page or as an external page. And the last option is showing the custom section in menu. Now all I have to do is uh, pressing publish button. And going to appearance menus here I have to create my own menu I have to name it okay now I have to add pages to my menu Okay, good, they are added. You can see that I can move them and change their structure. I'm going to press Save Menu and check my website. Here you can see the back from a previous video and custom section is added after it. Now you may notice that uh, we have two problems here. Uh, first is the menu, it's not actually here. And the second is that we have a row short code at the end of our content. Let's uh, solve the menu issue first. Here you can see that I did not check primary and mobile navigation. I'm going to check them and press save menu. Here you can see that they are added to the menu. The menu is actually here. Now, another issue that the menu does not have 
any color. I'm going to appearance, stem settings. Here is the control panel. You can choose different settings. I'm going to menu section. Uh, you can see that the opacity is set to 100% and the background color is set to white. All I have to do is press save and top. You can see that the menu is white now. You can see that the map is also added to the page because the settings is imported in my term now. Now, I'm going to menu and change the position of custom part, I'm going to add it to the first position simply by moving this item in my menu. You can see that it's done. I simply changed my custom part position. First is my custom part and after that is my bullet. I'm going to fix the shortcut issue now. I'm going to pages, custom part is my custom section. You can see that uh, I have two rows here. Two tags for rows. Uh, this issue happened because ready elements add their own row so I have to remove one row from the spans to fix that issue. I just remove them and press update. Here you can see that the row shortcut is not here anymore.